You can call this a guilty pleasure, but a long time ago I told you a lot of the LARPers were full of shit. LARPer, it's LARPer news, I know, I know, I know. It's not it's a side it's a sidebar to you know, the bigger news of Jeffrey Epstein and the pedophilia ring, right? But there is this world of LARPers online. And of which I've dived into several times to try to understand them a little better, what their motives are, where they come from, how much of it is bullshit, how much is there any reality to any of it? Is there any truth to anything George Webb was saying or Jason Goodman or 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 his his uh, the failed actor Dave Acton, the failed actor Prepper Kitty, the failed actor, the angry brother, the jealous angry brother and and Robert David Steele, the man who says this this child uh, this child colonies on Mars for pedophiles. Right? Is there any truth to any or 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 Steve Outram, the researcher? Ooh, he's researching the researchers. He's researching. Right? And a whole slew of others. The Quinn Michaels. He was shot in the heart. He was shot in the chest with a heart gun. He exploded his lung. <laughs> It's comedy, right? Is it comedy? They, they, you know, shut down the port in Charleston. There's Defango, who, I don't know, Defango's not so, he's, he's at least he's got a speck of honesty in him. He knows when he's been had. Look, here's the deal. I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I, I'm, I want to talk about Dave Acton, who lost his case. A fake, a frivolous lawsuit against Jason Goodman. I want to talk about that. But I don't, I don't, um, uh, criticize or hold against anybody for what they do to make a living. If someone wants to promote fake news, if someone says, here, here's $3,000 a month, promote my stupid stories, and you say okay to that, I have no problem with that because that's the essence of news right now. That's what CNN, they pay you $6 million to read off the teleprompter. It's no different, right? There's no higher conspiracy or this one's working with that one and it's a it's a it's a, a criminal ring of espionage and it's all bullshit it's just people it's opportunists people that set out to tell the truth <clears throat> and then are faced with a financial hardship and then they dive into the the ugly side of lying for a living uh, now i think that ultimately the karma in lying and telling claiming to be a truth teller and then ultimately being caught as a frivolous liar is is enough sentence in itself that you no longer have um, standing you no longer have credibility so so Dave Acton the failed actor who is alcohol George Webb's brother right now he's hard to find he's on prepper kitty news but a lot of the LARPer people know who he is right and he's somebody who operates very dishonestly in the sense that he puts up, he puts a video up and then, and then uh, will remove it moments later, right? For whatever reason, to hide what he said, I don't know. But any, any time, I'll just tell you, Mr. Fucking Acton, any, any video that you've ever made with my name in the title, you could guarantee it's saved and in a safe place. And if you turn around and say... Oh, Conti's lying. See, that's the deal. They try to bring you into the conspiracy. If you investigate them and expose them, now you're part of a higher conspiracy to shut down the truth. Jason Goodman would be a great example. Now, this is no defense of Jason Goodman. Jason Goodman, as you have seen, is a liar, a horrible, despicable human being who, who just by merely, you saw me, him just saying hello to him, Attack me with a with an umbrella. He's the, the the faggot that attacked me with the umbrella, in in um at the Epstein trial. Okay? Now, it's not a defense of him, but you just I want to read you the I'm going to read you the lawsuit. Right here's the here's the suit. Right, so it's up, and a federal judge has has basically given a summary judgment on this case. Now listen to what the judge the, the opening line of the fucking judge. Listen to this. Right, so. It's, it's David Schwaggard versus J Jason Goodman. 
for whatever. They're all the, the whole fucking story is all bullshit, right? All the all the conspiracies are climaxing into this ridiculous this ridiculous lawsuit, a federal lawsuit they filed. Right? Here in New York, Southern District, same Epstein court. Right? Opening line, the judge. Valerie Caprioni, uh, United States District Judge. So this is a summary judgment. It's a ruling. There will be no trial because it, it's a frivolous case. So the judge goes on record on as summary judgment and makes a summary paper assessment of what's going on. And she opens up like this. This is a frivolous dispute between two litigants whose tumultuous court filings rehash their incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracy theories. <laughs> I'll fucking I'll, I'll I'll read that sentence to you again because that sums up the whole thing. A a frivolous dispute between two litigants whose whose court filings rehash their incomprehensible and illogical online conspiracies. So congratulations, Dave Acton. You are now you are now documented conspiracy theorist who files frivolous lawsuits against people that were formerly your friends, that you incorporate your brother. Anybody who comes in contact with this guy is 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 some sort of higher conspiracy theory and he's the goo he's the do-gooder Mr. Mr. Prepper Kitty. So he's the he's the biggest asshole in the whole scenario. Dave Acton George alcohol George Webb's retarded brother is jealous brother, excuse me, is the biggest conspirator in this because he initiated the claim. Now there's there's a lot more. Just listen to this shit, right? So <laughs> <laughs> um, the the judge hold on just give me one second just give me one second on page two I'm going to try to find the zingers you can find the I'll put the link down below if you want to read the whole lawsuit but um, I just want to give you the zingers in the amended complaint and proposed second amendment complaint plaintiff reencounts a convoluted history of defendant an operator of a YouTube channel accusing plaintiff of committing wildly implausible acts on the basis of defendants facially ridiculous <laughs> on the basis this is the judge talking on the basis of the defendants that's Goodman ridiculously factually ridiculous statements on YouTube which include among other things an accusation that the plaintiff used a microwave weapon to explode someone's lung and that the defendant has influence over the FBI the, F the federal is <laughs> as a private citizen now seeks to impose civil and criminal liabilities on defendant for allegedly participating in a racketeering organization and violating numerous federal and state criminal laws I mean that's a mouthful right there. If you the, the judge is the judge is a woman, but the judge is basically taking her dick out and pissing all over these two idiots. Right? It's not only that idiot number one filed the suit, but idiot number two answers with even more ridiculous and convoluted conspiracy theories about the other one. But when what it essentially is, it's just two grown adults having a piss fight on YouTube. They're children. They're a immature children, basically. Uh, so, what else? I'll give you a couple more zingers, and then I'll, I'll try to recap this. Right? So, so such conspiratorial cons <laughs> speculation, applying a standard that could lead to the disqual disqualification of virtually every judge. Oh, so this is where, because Dave Acton knows he's going to lose a frivolous lawsuit, He's now flipping it to the judge is also part of the conspiracy involved in the FBI to stop Dave Acton's very important work of exposing Jason Goodman's connection to the deep state. All right, so the judge, again, pulls out her dick and says, 
you, that this type of nonsense can virtually, an accusation like that, it, it can virtually disqualify every judge in the district and may be fitting for YouTube comment section, but it is not sufficient to cause recusal of, an, of the undersigned. <laughs> so Acton is trying to, is, is now, no, knowing that he's going to lose on summary judgment, is now accusing the judge of wrongdoing. Right? That's how it, get, it just gets deeper and deeper. Um, okay. It also says that um, having given plaintiff a chance to be heard on the merits of his claim, the court may also dismiss his claims for failure to make any statements. So he didn't make, Acton didn't make any, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is what I wanted to say. A Acton didn't make any actual claims, legal claims. He's not a lawyer, and what, but that's not what we're holding him accountable for. We're holding him accountable for, you know, saying, see, George Webb, I don't know who said what because it doesn't even matter. The guy who got shot with the heart gun, that was Quinn Michaels. Now, Quinn Michaels is basically some, what I appear, it appears he lives in a car, he drives around somewhere and in, in Colorado and Nevada, I don't know where the hell he is, Northern California, right? He's, he, he appears to be like a thin kind of drug addict. I would say that he, he had a, he had a heart, um, his lung collapsed and Jason Goodman ran to his rescue, mm -hmm, gay love. But really, Quinn Michaels is, pro is most likely just a methamphetamine smoking the pipe and blew up his lung and one of them is trying to say that the other shot him with a microwave weapon. I mean, it is so ridiculous, right? And that's what's in this legal suit that Mr. Acton thinks is making precedence for, I don't know, for online chatter, which all it really is, right? Where these guys step it up, where they become very da dangerous citizens is what I want to talk about in a second. But uh, the court therefore dismisses for lack of standing all of the claims, so all of his claims have been dismissed, and the judge makes a place that that um, a private citizen may not prosecute criminal actions in a federal court. Now, I told you that a year and a half ago when I told you that the whole case is frivolous, and Acton bringing up criminal allegations against all of these knuckleheads won't happen because that's not the place to do it in a criminal, in a in a civil um, suit. Right. So the judge calls it um, <laughs> the rights of anyone harmed by defendants nonsensical rantings. Right. Thus, as to the majority of the claims in the amended complaint, plaintiff appears to regard himself as a roving knight <laughs> in shining armor. <laughs> this is this is uh, George uh, Dave Acton. Plaintiff appears to regard himself as a roving knight in shining armor, intended on vindicating through this lawsuit the rights of anyone harmed by defendant's nonsensical ranting. Jason Goodman, nonsensical ranting. Unfortunately for plaintiff, this is not the function of the civil RICO statute. <laughs> so again, she pisses on both of them, right? It's fucking, it's just funny, man. I don't know. I'm having a good time with it. Uh, so there's a little more and then I'll, I'll, re, I'll, I'll sum it up. Right. So um, the filing, um, the filing has, uh, f the plaintiff has filed a motion to dismiss defendants Goodman's counterclaim. In a, in a two paragraph plea titled counterclaim to amended claim, Goodman asserts that Schwagert is part of an organized campaign that has engaged in, in quote, wanton and willful torturous interference, defamation, slander, harassment, invasion of privacy, infringement of First Amendment rights, menacing, and stalking. <laughs> so, but he makes no, he, he gives no evidence whatsoever, the judge says, that any of that happened. Right? So, so Jerkoff number one is accusing Jerkoff number two of the same things that he was accused of. Right? It's, it's ridiculous. Right? So, 13, let's see. 
Um, D. Having concluded the plaintiff's amended complaint and defendant's counterclaim should be dismissed, the court also denies plaintiff motion. Uh, because the motion for a gag order, parties including motion, uh, both parties, oh, here it is. Both parties are advised they are proceeding in a federal court. <laughs> the judge is telling them, guess where you are? You're in a federal court. This isn't a fucking YouTube channel. Uh, and are therefore warned not to waste judicial resources with the filing of frivolous claims or motions. Now, I told you that in, in five videos... Uh, you know, a half a year ago, that that they they wait they're wasting taxpayer money and time filing frivolous lawsuits for whatever reason. What do they think? They think I think Dave Acton thinks, oh, I'm gonna I'm getting my name in the on the record. I'm getting my name in the mix, and that's gonna make me look good. Jason Goodman, anybody who talks about me is bringing attention to my channel. That's the that's the sick mentality. Rather than using talent inspiration love of of community they use fear and anger and and contorted um, thinking to bring people to their circle now these are not people you want to be involved in this is, is ultimately the point uh, so so there's one other line that's just the ultimate ultimate zinger right because plaintiff may be able to plea plead a civil copyright claim right so so the judge left a little window open for Acton to file something else. It's not a full dismissal. But the court cautions plaintiff, the judge is cautioning the plaintiff, listen to this, that his second amended complaint can be dismissed as frivolous and he may be subject to sanctions if he refiles a claim in substantially the same form as the amended claim or proposed second amendment. Right? If no second if no second amendment is filed, then it's dismissed September 10th. So the ju judge is basically saying, Mr. Acton, if you file another bullshit piece of paper in my court, I will slap you with sanctions. And man, are they going to be fucking heavy? Right? Man, are they? I'm going to lay into you with every ounce of my judicial being. I'm yo. I'm corrupt. You think I'm corrupt? Wait until you get yours. Is what the judge is basically telling him. Right, he's she's gonna lay into him with financial, maybe a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, maybe maybe, fucking uh, Goodman may get. I, I don't think she'll she'll give it to Goodman, but she may impose sanctions, saying that something to the order of, okay, Mr. Acton, guess what? You're gonna pay for all of these proceedings by the hour, and and slap jo uh, Dave Acton, the fake actor, the failed actor. With a couple of hundred thousand dollars in legal fees to compensate the taxpayer for his bullshit allegations over the last one year. So, Dave, I think you should definitely file that. You want my legal advice? You should definitely file, continue to file against Jason Goodman, the fucking faggot with the umbrella that attacks people, the fake news purveyor that sits with, with, uh, with uh, Th Thomas Paine. Michael Moore, the fake pundit, the guy who spun the fake story about about uh, Jen Moore, you know, being killed by by uh, by fucking Bill Clinton, right? These are all fake phonies. Who's the other phonies? Right? I talked about David Robert, Robert David Steele, who's also suing Goodman. Now Goodman has a big, fat, childish, Jewish, faggot mouth. Right? Now we know that about Jason Goodman, right? He'll keep saying the same thing over and over again because he's a despicable, you know, kind of person, right? A liar, a cheater, a money grabber, right? We know that about Goodman. And he's able to get under these guys' skin enough to sue him, right? Because he's a, he's a, he's a fucking, he's a motherfucker. He's a real, you know, a real irritating fuck, right? So David Steele, Dave, Robert David Steele sued him, but this is also... Again, Robert David Steele, think, just remember who you're talking to. Robert David Steele is, is on InfoWars telling Alex Jones that there are Martian colonies of children for breeding, breeding the children 
for uh, elites to rape them, to bring them back to earth and rape them. This is what the guy is saying. This is who the guy is. A guy who, who accuses every single celebrity and politician of being a, a, a high order, the highest order of, of pedophile in America. Right? These are the characters you're dealing with, right? Alcohol George Webb, who's still, still to this day spinning every single news story that comes along. Even the Epstein case, right? I watch one video, I get three minutes in and I laugh my ass off because he takes the story of, of Jeffrey Epstein and then he twists it into a conspiracy about his ridiculous beliefs of guns and, and, and drugs and, and hookers going one way and drugs going the other way. And everything is a conspirator, and he he reads off this fascinating word salad, right? He's so he's so it's it's. I mean, I you could go back on my videos. I I debunked George Webb 25 times. You know, I'm not going to do it again. But again, a liar that continues to go. It brings me to the point of the LARPing, right? Who else did I miss? And there's there's Steve Outram. Sorry, Steve, you're you're just as guilty as all these jackoffs because you can't. I'll be light on you because you haven't really. I I don't know if you I don't know if you have a vested interest in seeing these idiots prevail, or you're just so fucking stupid that you believe them. Now, I had you on my show, and we talked, and I basically told you right to your face that that you're down a rabbit hole, and that the things that you're you're chasing these idiots as if it's fact. Uh, is that the idea of you chasing these idiots thinking that anything they're doing is factual and and worthy of 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 civil prosecution I told you that that was ridiculous and you told me Conti you don't know what you're talking about you're it's this is precedence legal precedence well convince me I'm wrong now that you have seen the judge's verdict and basically called Dave Acton and Jason Goodman, two buffoons, two idiots filing legal frivolous nonsense at each other. Are you gonna what are you gonna jump on Dave Acton's side and say, oh no, see the judge is working with the FBI? Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. You guys, what you guys do is the legal system is fucked up enough and and criminally and civilly broken enough. But what you're doing is you're equating your bullshit as truth. And everything else says lie. Uh, you're 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 you're, wa you're basically wasting everybody's time. Is what I'm trying to say, right? So fear versus anger. Fear and anger. There's also oh, there's also one other jerk off in the scenario. This this also uh, Schoenberger. Oh, there's also Batowski, the Ed Batowski case. There's another fake lawsuit. Ed Batowski and Ar against Aaron Rich, Aaron Seth Rich's brother, Aaron Rich. There's also that one going on. That's another fake suit. And then Batowski's filing someone else. There's the Laura Jumer case. Laura, the, Laura the, the attack Jew who attacks Muslims. And any, any political figure that has a Muslim background attacks. There's that case where one of, one of um, Jason Goodman's fake lawyers is representing her against Facebook for $5 billion, $3 billion. Like these, all these... These fake idiot, ridiculous, and there's the one of one of the new characters is Thomas Paine, Thomas Schoenberger guy, right? Who I'll tell you what he does. He's basically a serial predator where he goes from person to person to person, dumping on whether it's through email, whether it's through social media, and he just he continues to use fear and anger to upset weak people into I don't know what, maybe extort money out of them, maybe. Um, I don't know what the what the guy's motive is, but it's not good, right? The guy is is an evil fuck, and I believe that there is a warrant for his arrest. So they got to get that guy because he's a he's a little he's a, he's the probably one of the worst the really bottom of the barrel scumbags, right? And you know, and I, I say to Defango, you had you had you know you had ties with this guy, right? You had ties with this guy. And you're not innocent in the matter, but Defango gets a pass so far because he's he's not he may have taken money from these guys to say some lies, but he's not denying it. He may be involved with a bunch of 
you know, make America great again trolls, uh, but for money. But there's no, there's no, there's no crime in any of that in making a living. I don't frown on people's willingness to take money and tell a story, but there are consequences to it. Your reputation is is destroyed because you're now a purveyor of fake news. But if you want to live with that, that's fine. That's fine with me, right? So, but you you are equating yourself with this Schoenberger, who is a is is a serial predator who preys on very weak people to the point of. I don't know, disrupting their lives. They get people that get worked up over emails. I mean, he personally, again, my personal experience, just by trying to to interview him for a possible appearance on my show, he sent me fifty, you know, insane emails. I have them. I I believe I put them out once before. I'll publish them. I could do it again. If if need be, but the um. So, so anger and fear. Verse love and inspiration. That's how I want to end this. Anger and fear. That's what these guys use. Anger and fear. They want you to be afraid. They're angry. Why? Because they don't have the true talent. The inspiration. They don't have love in their heart. They don't have truth in their heart. Is the, is the essence of the, the, this online LARP. Right. Yesterday I had a gentleman on my show. His name is uh, <laughs> what's his name? Nick Brana. Nick Brana. Nick Brana. Uh, uh, an outstanding human being. An outstanding young man in D.C. He worked on the Bernie as a high, you know, a high guy in the Bernie 2016 presidential run. He was in the room with Nina Turner and Tulsi Gabbard, and he made decisions that were used in the in the 2016 Bernie Sanders run for president. A very respected individual. And I'm honored to have someone like that on my show. Although the the when you talk about Jeffrey Epstein's dick, you get, you know, 5,000 views. When you talk to a gentleman who who can actually explain to you the exact nature of government wrong and and propaganda and how the corruption in the DNC really, really works, you only get a few hundred. Now think about that. Anger and hostility, lies, versus truth, love, inspiration. Uh, you, see the, you, see, you see why these creeps lean towards the, the, uh, the offensive? Right? That's, that's what it is, right? I want to associate myself with Nick Brana. Not, not, not faggot Jason Goodman who attacks people with an umbrella. Or Dave Acton who, who creates frivolous lawsuits because he's jealous of his brother's storytelling talent. Or his alcoholic brother who, who tells stories. At, at no, there's no end to the, to the degree to which this guy will tell a fake story. And, and bring people down this insane rabbit hole of, of nothingness, of of despair and, and, and horror and lies. Uh, or, or, or David, David Robert, Robert David Steele, who's got this children on Mars, setting up, getting set up for the pedophiles. Uh, it's, it's just so insane, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I mean, to, to understand the psychology of the web is interesting. It is a very interesting psychology, and it's a new psychology of people attacking people online people smearing right if you i watched a movie last night about the um, the great hack the great hack about um, uh, cambridge analytica and how you know basically cambridge analytica stole information from facebook the um the um data files from facebook or, or basically facebook gave it to them and they use that information to profile people and then sway their vote using ads, bombarding them with messaging, their own exclusive messaging to get them to vote a certain way or getting, getting them to think a certain way. Now, I say that's First Amendment. I don't, I don't see stealing someone's information, that's different. 
But unfortunately, we agreed to that when we signed up for Facebook. So if you put your, your information down and you're being bombarded with a certain message, it is ultimately up to you to decide how you're going to live your life, right? How you're going to um, decide how, what, how you're going to react to this information, right? So, so you got to give Cambridge Analytica a, a pass in the sense of, uh, I went off on a tangent, but it's important because, because you, the, the, the right to speak out, the right to, to engage online is a protected form of, of speech. And all the idiots that I just talk about have that protection, right? But what they try to do is they try to say the other guy is violating their right to speak and their right to a free, you know, a free life, right? But none of them have any damages whatsoever to account for. David Schwaggert, the guy, what, what does he do? He sits home, he makes stupid videos about all his videos are negative on other people. Right? That's all he does. He makes hundreds of negative videos about other people. And then he accuses the other person of, of slander and libel. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. So where do, you, where do we draw the line on, on these retar retards? Right? I, guess the, I guess the message is stay in truth, stay in love, stay in inspiration. Look for it. Right? And when you see it, grab onto it and hold onto it. When you see anger and fear, fear mongers, walk away from it. Uh, I mean, that's, I guess that's the, the proverbial lesson. Will it stop Dave Acton from, from suing someone else? Or, or will, he, will he stop making a hundred videos about other people's, you know, his, his own brother? <clears throat> uh, probably not. Because in his mind, or in his his. What's even sadder, it's either he believes it or he believes you believe it. Which is it? Right? Do you believe anything that these guys are saying? After what I just told you? After what a federal judge just told you? I don't know. So, Marcus Conti reporting. I'm going to try to get out of this humidity because, man, is it hot in New York, man. My beautiful bridge. That's my bridge, man. It's Barazano Bridge. Marcus Conti reporting.